welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Raina, and in today's Boxes and Deals, I have the Spring Cooking Panda Box, and it's very heavy. <laughs> I don't know if I can lift it for you. There it is. This is 17 pounds of food and products in here in this box. I absolutely love this box. We got, this is my second one so far. We got the winter one and now we have the spring one and we did open it just to take a, take a sneak peek. We haven't taken everything out of it yet, but we're liking what we see so far. I'm very excited and I think it's well worth it. I'll give you more information about it at the end of the video, but let's get right in to see what's in it first. First of all, right on top, we have lots of cards and kind of, I guess, brochures, you could call them. Now, I'm trying this. Uh, the camera is set out a little further, so just because the box is so big and the tripod is too high for this table, so we're trying this. Hopefully it works. Hopefully you can hear my voice over the surrounding sound. Um, I need to get a microphone for out here. So let's get right into the products first. Right on top, let me tell you, when I was, in order to get up here to the gazebo, we kind of have to walk up the hill from the house, um, kind of over some boulders. It's almost like a, its own little hike and up the stairs. And by the time I got up here, the 17 pound box felt like 50 pounds. <laughs> I was quite out of breath. All right, so first up, we have some banana chips from Island Saba in the flavor sweet chili. That actually sounds delicious. We'll do tastings at the end too. Then we've got some organic chickpea snacks by Hip Peas. We have one in the flavor Nacho Vibes. That sounds good. Six grams of protein, five grams of fiber. Nice healthy snack. And they look like the little um, Cheeto Puffs. And then in the flavor Bohemian Barbecue. Right, next we have high key no sugar snacks we got these in our last box but we got a different flavor i think they were sugar cookies this time we got chocolate chip and i've actually i'm actually excited that we got chocolate chip because i've seen these at costco but i haven't wanted to get a huge bag of them and then nobody eats them you know so i'm glad that we get to try them out if we like them then we'll go get them at costco we really liked the it wasn't sugar cookies it was snickerdoodle we loved those those were delicious we usually don't do sugar free cookies because i don't like fake sugar those did not to me did not taste like fake sugar and i'm very picky about that but um they are gluten free grain free and keto friendly so i'm excited to try those Next we have Bob's Red Mill. I do like this brand. And these are grain-free flatbread mix made with almond and cassava flowers. That sounds really interesting. What I like about this box is that there are healthy snacks and then there are junk food snacks. So there's kind of something for everybody. This is paleo friendly, great for pizza and gluten-free and non-GMO. Next we have an egg slicer by Cooking Basics. I don't have one of these, so that's awesome. I love getting kitchen gadgets. I'm always needing more, so I love I would love there to be a like a kitchen gadget subscription. I know Taste of Home has one, but there's seems to me a little high in price, but I mean maybe it's worth it. I've never tried it, but that's the only one I know of. Fab Fit Fun, I enjoy when they put more kitchen stuff in there. Lately, they haven't been putting a whole lot. But So I like kitchen gadgets. Right Rice Risotto, made from vegetables. Creamy cracked pepper flavor. And we have another one. Oh no, this one's a different brand. This is Royal. Um, we got this one in the last batch, in the last box, and I actually liked it. Same flavor. Smoky harissa seasoned basmati rice and lentils, and it's ready to go to heat and eat, <laughs> heat and serve. So 
it like it's all in a solid. I think you can see it. These ones are dry, of course. Then we have more chickpeas. These are different. Um, these are actual chickpeas, not chickpea snacks. These ones are by Saffron Road World Cuisine, made with organic chickpeas. These are crunchy chickpeas Ooh, in the flavor of buffalo. I think I would like those. So far, these all sound good. I think there were a couple things in the last box that we didn't really care for. I don't remember. All right, next we get our junk food. And there's two of them. The girls are gonna be so excited. We have Watermelon Sour Patch Kids Bites. A whole big bag, not a single serving bag. This is a 12 ounce bag and the regular Sour Patch Kids Bites. Also in 12 ounce. Then we have by Quinn, Maple Almond Butter Filled Pretzel Nuggets. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. So, excuse the squeaky chip. <laughs> We've been eating, these are gluten-free as well, nice. We've been getting from Trader Joe's the chocolate-covered peanut butter pretzels, pretzel nuggets, but these sound really good too, and we could cover them in chocolate. <laughs> um, but maple almond, that sounds good. Then we have, oh, interesting, by Veggie Craft Farms, mac and cheese made with sweet potato. Cheddar cheese flavor. Huh. So your regular, you know, mac and cheese microwave cup, 11 grams of protein, gluten-free, but made with sweet potato. I'll have to see how Nani likes that. She loves her mac and cheese cups. We got something else from, Qu oh, same thing. So we got two of those, same flavor. Sometimes we'll get seasonings and sauces and condiments as well. This one, ooh, this is um, by Green Garden, non-GMO, freeze-dried garlic. Oh, wow. That smells like fresh garlic. That smells amazing. Another kitchen gadget. Kitchen Essentials by Kitchen & Co. This is a three-piece set. We have a funnel, scooper, and strainer, and I don't have scissors up here so that I can take them apart, but we have this strainer, this one's a scoop, and then this one's a funnel. How cool is that? Very cool. I like that. Bubble wrap, this is a glass. Ooh, tiger sauce original for meat, seafood, and anything else that can stand up to the sweet heat. Some of these I need to be able to read. Packs fierce flavor in a balanced yet complex sauce that is slightly sweet with a touch of heat. You can use it as a condiment, an ingredient, or a marinade or cooking sauce. First ingredient is cayenne peppers. There's also red peppers and chili peppers, and then some other seasonings. We like our seasonings and spices and hot sauces. I've seen this and I've always been curious, thinking maybe it could make a, ma a really good, um, what do you call it? Bloody Mary. This is Camarnazzo tomato and shrimp cocktail. And this is original. So tomato juice, but shrimp cocktail flavor, I guess. I've never tried it. I've seen it many times. Natural shrimp flavor and other natural flavors. I bet that would make a really good Bloody Mary. Put a little garlic in there. A little hot sauce. I bet they have a Bloody Mary recipe in there. All right, chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate drink tablets. And these ones, I think, are Mexican chocolate. 
Ibarra is the brand. Do they have the cinnamon? Yes, they do. This is Mexican cocoa. I love Mexican hot chocolate. So you just break those up. Um, you take one piece, I think. You put three cups of low-fat milk and one tablet of the chocolate in a medium-sized pot. Stir it up until it starts boiling. You may also mix at the blender after liquid boils. Remove from heat, serving cups, and enjoy. Sounds delicious, although now it's getting hot out, so not gonna be drinking much hot chocolate, but <laughs> and I'm sure there's more recipes too. They have, it's so amazing. They have loads and loads and loads of recipes on their website for all of these things that they send in the box, all these ideas. Um, you can go in our Instagram page and get all these ideas as well. Amazing, I love that. That's like, that's that over the top step for me. Like they don't just send a bunch of stuff, just random stuff. They send all of these amazing things to try. A lot of this I've never tried, which I love about it is that um, there's so many new things to try. Then they add more to it by giving you ideas of how to use it. I love that. All right, then we have by Orchard Naturals Organic Yellow Cling Sliced Peaches in 100% Juice. Yum. Peaches and cottage cheese, I love that. And then we have another pasta made with pot sweet potatoes. The other one was mac and cheese. This one is marinara flavor. So basically like a spaghetti. We have Trident Pocket Pack, 28 sticks of Tropical Twist Trident Gum. Everybody's going to be happy about that. 28 sticks. I think it's one of those um, plastic packs. Then we have, oh, we've tried these. We get these at Costco. This is apples and mango. This is dried fruit bars. And we think they're really good. We get the ones, I think it's Costco. Yeah. And they get, they have blueberry strawberry and mango those are pretty good we have an awake chocolate bite i have these i also get them from costco and they're delicious and they're equal to with the caffeine to a cup of coffee so if you're on the go and you just you don't feel like drinking a cup of coffee you just want <laughs> a little chocolate in the morning <laughs> that's not usually me i haven't gone through them all because usually i want my cup of coffee but I have a couple times where I just need that quick boost of caffeine. I'm on the go. I don't have time to grab a drink or don't feel like drinking anything or whatever. Or I want just my water to drink. I'll grab that for my caffeine. Then we have by Partana, Sicilian Extra Virgin Olive Oil in a vintage little can. I love it. That is so cool. First cold pressed. That's what it looks like inside. So you just pop the tab and then you have the pour. Cute. All right, we have a drink. Usually we get at least one drink. Looks like we have two, well, and the hot cocoa. This one is cold pressed lemon water. Five calories, zero, zero sugar. It is by Lemon Perfect. It is in the flavor Kiwi Starfruit. It's organic, lemon-powered beverage. Naturally refreshing. Half of a squeezed organic lemon in every bottle. Wow, that's really good for your digestion. Um, cold pressed and full of flavor. Hydrating electrolytes, essential antioxidants, 100% vitamin C, made with no artificial ingredients. Awesome. Can't wait to try that. Of course, it'll taste better cold. Then we have a chili kit. I have seen these in the store. I've been wanting to try one. It sounds amazing. I love homemade chili. Again, this would be a good winter one, but that's okay. I love chili any time of year. This is by Carol Shelby's original Texas brand chili kit. Fix it hot or mild. It seasons two pounds of meat with three individual season seasoning packets. You brown two pounds of ground beef, you add 
a can of tomato sauce, water, and one spice packet. And then it tells you how you can fix it mild or fix it hot. Oh, it includes um, cayenne pepper packets as well. All right, I'll just open it and see because I'm confused. Okay, it only includes one seasoning packet and then it includes masa flour if you like your chili hot or not hot, thicker. And then it includes cayenne pepper if you want it hot. So it's kind of a build your own chili. So one, uh, two pounds of ground beef, one can of tomato sauce, that's all you have to buy. And then you have your chili packet. And if you like it hot, you add your cayenne. If you like it thick, you like, you add your masa flour and you cover and simmer for 15 minutes. Cool. Oh, I'm very excited about this. I love kind bars and this is kind breakfast in the flavor honey oat. There are eight bars, four packs, so four, two packs. Yum, we like those. Then we have Swans Down. I don't think I've seen this brand. It looks very vintage though. America's favorite cake flour since 1894. And it is, that's exactly that, it's cake flour. Enriched cake flour, 27 times finer. On the back of this, we have a recipe for one, two, three, four cake. We have a recipe for simple chocolate cake and a recipe for wedding, or excuse me, whipping cream pound cake. I haven't made a homemade cake in, I think since I was a teen. <laughs> Another glass bottle, so a bubble wrap. I, that's what I was guessing. I was like, it looks like a balsamic vinegar. Yes, it is. This is by Star. Premium golden balsamic vinegar. You can make some really good dressings with that as well. But I know there's lots of, lots of ideas you can do with that. We have, this is interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be brave for this one. This is Saki Ika um, by Wellpack. Prepared shredded squid let me know in the comments if you like squid like this i like calamari done i'm very particular about it um done a certain way i don't think i've ever tried something like this this reminds me of hawaiian i mean maybe it's japanese but i feel like i had something like this in hawaii maybe i don't remember it just looks, it says product of Taiwan. Then next we have by Ia Foods. This is Pyri Pyri, if I'm pronouncing that right. Seasoning, this is African bird's eye, chili pepper, garlic, turmeric, and more with a juicy flavor. Interesting, this is very new to me. I'm hoping, I cannot see the camera very well just because of all the poor lighting. So I'm hoping that it's not blurry to you guys. Hoping that it's focusing on the products. Of course, I'll take um, close-ups later. It has the African bird's eye chili pepper, paprika, garlic, tomato powder, onion, basil, ginger, banyan pepper, yellow cornmeal, grains of saline pepper, salt, parsley, turmeric, cilantro, lemon peel. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing, but that is a lot of um, seasoning. Oh, interesting. So the Piri Piri is Swahili for pepper pepper. All right. It's a perfect rub for chicken. Also great on beef, seafood, potatoes, oh yum, and one pot dishes. Also try it in rice, stir fry, and more. And then there's a recipe for juicy Piri Piri chicken. Moderately spicy. That sounds amazing. I cannot wait to try that. I love trying new foods too. That's another reason I love this box. I'm very um, adventurous when it comes to food and trying new foods. Even if it's something I don't think I'll, I'll like, I'll still try it. Now in the last box, I did not try the super spicy, what was it? The Carolina, 
not habanero, the Carolina pepper, ghost pepper, was that what it was? It was one of those. I didn't try that because I figured nobody in my house was going to eat it. It'd be too hot for me even after I try it. It's, you know, I'm not going to be able to eat the whole box. So I might as well give it to somebody that will enjoy it. So that was the one thing that I did not try last time. Next and the very last thing by Bakery on Main, we have Ancient Graden ancient grain and seed superfood maple multigrain muffin in oh that's <laughs> that's the flavor maple multigrain muffin is the flavor it is an instant oatmeal that actually sounds really good too bad we didn't get a few of those because we might fight over that <laughs> can't wait to try that i've never seen that before so if we see it in the store and we like it, then that's the awesome thing about this is that you might um, see these things in the store and just never notice them, would never try them if you didn't try them here. We have our almond butter filled maple pretzel bites. This one I will taste test right now. Compared to your normal pretzel bites, first off, a lot more salty on the outside, which I do not mind at all. So there's a lot of salt flavor on there. And then they are more crunchy than any pretzel nuggets I've ever tried. Super crunchy. And that almond build butter filling is actually really delicious. I was trying to make it to where you could see the middle, but the whole thing fell apart in my mouth. So <laughs> let's try again. That is really good. They almost taste and look like, like some kind of homemade pretzel. Yum. All right, let's get brave. We'll try, <laughs> we'll try the squid. I wonder if it's better to try it with something. It smells like it. I think I have tried this before. It tastes very familiar. It looked familiar. This is actually really good. I don't remember where I had it. That is really good. It's chewy, kind of like jerky. And it almost has, it has a sweet flavor, so almost like a teriyaki. That is really good. It does have kind of that fishy smell to it a little bit, but it's not bad. All right, that is actually good. I like that. See, you never know until you try it, right? The lemon, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try this even though it's not cold. We'll just give it a little quick taste. I like that. Stevia, I thought I could taste that. So the stevia is what sweetens it, but it's not, it's good that lemon balances it well so and it's kiwi star fruit that is really good I like that I'll have to look for those those are great for summer very refreshing then we have the sweet chili banana chips I have to stand up I hope you can see me I'm sorry this chair is killing my back by reaching like that are good. Sweet but spicy. Crunchy but not like you know how some banana chips or plantain chips can be really hard to bite. They have they're thin and crispy and delicious. I really like that. 
it's by Sun Tropics. They're made in the Philippines. Ooh, it's got a kick. It does have a kick. Like, you don't taste it at first, but I need a drink. <laughs> I'm glad we have this. <laughs> I like spicy things, but when it like gets to your throat, If you're sensitive to spicy things, you might not care for that, but I'm sure they have other flavors if they don't have the sweet chili. It is delicious. If you do like banana flavor or banana chips that, and you wish they weren't so crunchy that you can't bite them, you'd probably really like these. They are very thin. I like that a lot. All right, then we got, we'll save our sweet for last. We have the um, Saffron Road Crunchy Chickpeas in Buffalo. <laughs> One spice to the next. Um, these are new, so I wonder what's new. If, if it's a snack itself is new or if that flavor is new. And this one says medium heat on it, on the bag. I like those. I don't taste this. They don't. To me, they don't. I don't know. I think these are still spicy on my tongue. So these didn't really add to that. Like they're not any more spicy than those. So they may be milder. I don't know. I'd have to taste them separately. I think. All right. Then we have the high key mini cookies in chocolate chip. But yes, yeah, those. Snickerdoodle flavor were delicious. They were soft and buttery. Mm. Those are good. So Costco may be a yes on those, especially because they're healthy. They have almond flour, coconut oil, real butter. Butter is the fourth ingredient. They do have that buttery flavor. They're a little bit crunchy, but I don't like super crunchy. They're like, how do you describe it? Between crunchy and soft. They're not chewy, but they, they're soft, but crunchy. I don't know. They're good. That is one stuffed full box. I'll have to count because I meant to do that and forgot. We'll have to count everything that's in there. I'll put it at the top of the screen if I remember to count how many products we received this time. Now, um, a little bit about it. You will receive in every box 25 or more products. You'll receive 15 pounds or more. Again, my box was 17 pounds. If you are an annual subscriber, which I am, so you prepay for four boxes because it is a seasonal box, you will get extra items, earlier shipping, and access to limited edition boxes, which I haven't seen one of those come out yet. But again, I'm new to this, so we'll see what those are all about all right if you do it quarterly it is $44.99 per quarter it does include free shipping in the US amazing right 20 pounds 15 to 20 pound box free shipping $45 for all of this food you get at least $150 worth of food and beverage and products and cooking things products so I think that is an amazing deal for the quarterly deal. Now, if you pay for annual, you get $5 off per box. So that's a total of $20 saved over the year, plus the benefits um, of the extra items and things like that. So it's $40 per box, $39.99 with the annual subscription. To me, that is well worth it. We definitely have gotten our 
money's worth out of this already. Amazing. I really, really enjoy this box. I would definitely keep going. I think we would do this every year. We love food. We love exploring um, new foods and trying new snacks, trying new recipes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you like tastings, all kinds of unboxings, reviews, mystery boxes, subscription boxes, small businesses, you name it. I do all of those kind of things. So um, be sure to watch for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.